Hi, I'm Jürgen Kapus, and I'll show you how you, as a teacher, can set up batches or use batches in your course. You don't have to configure something like open batches or uh, a batch backpack. Uh, your administrator just has to turn on the batches uh, function in Moodle, and then you can use internal batches in your course. So just have a look. Go to our demo course. And in the settings menu, in the administration menu, you find badges. And here you can manage badges. That is the first step you have to do as teacher. And create a new badge or add a new badge. You enter a name for the badge. description and you choose the image file you want to use for the badge. I just uh, take one from the company's homepage because I know there are some nice pictures. Let's take hmm. this guy here. Um, you can add some issuer details, uh, for example, the name of the person who um, gives this badge to the students, it's me, it's an eternal badge, so I don't have to write uh, much detailed information and a contact, this is an email address for example. Oh, mine. Um, you can also set a badge expiry, so you can say okay, uh, on a fixed date, this batch will not be valid anymore. Or, for example, 30 days after a student uh, received this batch, this batch will expire. Then you create this batch. Here's an invalid email address, so I have made something wrong. Huh? empty spaces and now your batch is created um, your student have to fulfill some criteria uh, to get a batch so you have to set up the criteria um, you can create manual issue by role so in the next step you could define which roles normally the teacher are allowed to assign this badge manually. Um, you can say um, the students get the badge for the completion of the course or for the completion of one or more activities. We take activity completion. In courses it's the most um, um, used uh, completion criteria. And then we say if the student, for example, um, watches the SCORM package before the 11th of December or just watches the SCORM package, then he will get this badge. Um, we can add an additional uh, criteria, so he just not have to say, see SCORM package 1. He is also uh, have a look in lesson 2. And Then we have to set up how the criteria work together. Um, we can say this batch is uh, given to the student if all of my criteria, so he has seen both SCORM packages in my course, um, or if he gets if 
one of them uh, has been completed. I say if he has had a look in SCORM package 1 or in SCORM package 2, then he gets his badge. And then you can enter the description. The student has seen one SCORM module, for example. So the description is uh, shown to the student and to others. So after you saved it, your badge is created successfully. And that's all you have to do. And if a student uh, gets um, uh, uh, watches the SCORM packages, he gets his badge. And uh, if you look on the student um, profile, you will this batch here in this uh, profile page. So everybody can see, okay, the student has this batch, that batch, and so on. Um, there are also uh, batch blocks uh, you can show in courses. And it's really interesting if you want to motivate uh, learners, uh, then you can use these batches um, that they can show um, that if did some quests, that they finished some courses, some training, and so you get uh, a little bit more gamified learning into your Moodle without many uh, work, because it's very easy to set up these badges, and uh, students may be uh, really happy to get them. Thank you for joining.